If you've lived in the borderline for a while now, you've probably seen a scene just like this many times before. Of course, I'm talking about a dust devil. Now, we've already talked about how tornadoes form, but viewer Monica Gallegos wants to know what causes these things? What's the difference between dust devils and tornadoes? And as always, I'm here to answer your questions, so let's break it down right now. As we all know, the sun is quite strong here in the borderland, so the daytime sun has no problem heating the ground very quickly. As the air near the ground heats up, hot air rises and forms low pressure at the surface, right at the ground. In order to replace this air that has risen, air must move into the area of low pressure, which is already circulating. This air being brought in causes the circulation to get stronger. This is a self-sustaining process. Air rises, gets replaced by the air rushing into the area of low pressure, and get the circulation then gets stronger and stronger, picking up dust and debris, and voila, you have yourself a dust devil. Eventually Eventually, the air does cool down and it kills the circulation, but you can see that unlike a tornado, dust devils are not actually caused by thunderstorms. They're also much smaller than twisters, only ranging between 10 and 300 feet in diameter and are only about 500 to 1,000 feet tall.